Russian telegram channel stated that the Ukrainian armed forces occupied the settlements of Nikolaevo Darino, Darino and Sverdlakovo in the Sudzansky district of the Kursk region. As Astra writes with reference to several Z resources, the difficult situation remains in the Sudzansky district. In the northwestern sector, the Ukrainian armed forces units allegedly occupied the settlements of Nikolaevo Darino, Darino and Sverdlakovo. The line of control on the RYLSK Sudza highway is not known for certain. According to the Russians, the Ukrainian armed forces were allegedly able to expand the control zone along the 38K-004 highway to the southeast, advancing in the direction of the western suburb of Sudza, Goncharovka. According to unconfirmed information, fighting continues in the settlement. The tense situation remains in the village of Aleshnya, there, Russian servicemen are almost completely surrounded and are engaged in fierce battles with countless enemies. According to preliminary information, there are up to 400 members of Ukrainian formations in the territory of the Kursk region controlled by the Ukrainian armed forces, the channel writes. The Russians also claim that the Ukrainian command allegedly continues to transfer reserves. The publics also stated that a large concentration of Ukrainian formations is recorded in Unikovka, from where they are heading through Basovka to Sverdlakovo or towards Goncharovka. The Rybar channel claims that the Ukrainian Armed Forces Command has concentrated up to 2,000 members of Ukrainian formations along the border. This information is partially confirmed by the Operational Summaries channel. Meanwhile, the number of publications in Kursk public pages and channels is growing, asking to find and help evacuate relatives from populated areas who, according to local residents, have been left without communication. Some channels admit that in some areas of the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces have advanced 15 kilometers deep. They have captured not only infantry, but also artillery, armored vehicles, and drones. Eleven settlements were occupied by Ukrainians. Planes can't fly like yesterday, because the Ukrainian air defense system works better.